Welcome to my channel. My name is Dunia, if you're new here, and I'm just gonna get straight into it because that's what you're here for. We're here for boho knotless braids. So today I'm gonna be using the Hot Braids Human Hair. It comes with this gift box that has a rat tail comb and three pins that I'm actually gonna be using a lot throughout this hairstyle. And here's the hair. It is so luscious. I was playing around, combing through it and everything. Like, just look at it. I'm gonna be using this Queen Bee's braiding hair and the all day lock braid gel. Thank you to Hot Braids for sponsoring this video. So I'm gonna start off with sectioning my hair. In the back part, I'm gonna do sections of three. Then in the front, I'm gonna part it four times. And then that same line from the front, I'm gonna bring it to the middle of my head so I will have all sectioned out. And really the parting is what takes a long time. Once you start braiding, it's just quick, 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 quick. I started pre-parting my hair just recently and I found it to be so convenient than just going with the flow. I don't like going with the flow no more. I wanna pre-part it just so I can know what I already have and what I have left. So here's the braiding hair. I usually cut my braiding hair in half, but this time I just decided to just leave it in whole and that was probably the best thing I ever did. Because if you cut it in half, you gotta do a little bit of stretching and then you're gonna have a lot more hair poking out. So I just left it like how it was. I took about this much and then I split that in half so I could have one braid. I didn't want it to be too thick and I didn't want it to be too thin. For the loose hair, I was just spreading it apart so it could just be a lot easier for it comes for me to separate it. And just look at this, wow. Off to braiding, cause we got a lot of work to do. So I like to braid with my hair, it being in a triangle. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by that. It's actually really, really easy. If I do it any other way, it's gonna be a little bit harder for me to do the knotless look. And it's gonna look like a, a knot. And I do not like the knots no more. That was back when I was younger. I need knotless now. So I really wanna add a hair, braid one time, add another piece of hair, and when I add it, I basically have it in a hook. I just want to keep braiding down about four or five times and then I'll add the curly hair. Now, when I added the curly hair here, I added the long piece in the end and the short piece in the middle. I found that to be the best thing because it also had less for me to cut once I was finished braiding. Either way it works, I just think that it will save you a little bit of time when it comes to like making sure the braid is quote unquote perfect. So here I go again, I'm trying my best to do the, I wanna call it like the upside down V method. I don't know, I'm coming up with that right now. But I wanna make sure that I got at least a V. So when I'm trying to braid, I just twist one time, add the hair, twist another time, add the, another hair. So each piece is gonna have braiding hair. When I start a different section, I like to put in the gel so it could just be more crispy. I move the hair that I need to move. Now, this is how I sectioned off my hair. 
I just used the rat tail comb and I just went did a line down. This is how it's supposed to look. It's supposed to look like a V, a Y, whatever letter you want to call it. It's supposed to look like a letter, okay? I'm showing y'all again that this is a twist, add hair, twist one more time, add another hair. If you do this, it is going to be so much easier, I promise. I remember the first time I tried to do knotless braids and I'm sitting here about to pull my hair out because I just couldn't get it down packed. And it's just, you do a tiny twist, add that hair, I'm telling you. So once I braided down two times, I added this hair and you see how I added the smaller piece on the side like I said I just feel like if you add it in the middle and it, it'll be a little bit better but at the same time it gave me the same results make sure you pin the hair that you're pulling out to the side okay like pin it up get it out of the way because it will actually get back in the way and my hair I've been having these braids in for a couple of days no shedding at all okay so you want to make sure you secure the hair really good because a lot of people can tell you that these loose hairs will just come right out. So you want to make sure you secure it. When I say secure, I mean like braid it a couple of times, like braid it two times and then add another piece of hair if you like. But just make sure it's in there. One way to make sure it's secure is just to make sure that that small piece is not super small so it will continue to get braided down the, even if you pull out the curly hair. So I was going for the full curl look. At first I was getting a little bit scared. I didn't know if I was going to have enough curls. I received three bundles and let me tell you how much I ended up using. I only used one entire bundle and a little bit of the second bundle. So when I seen this, I said, wait a minute, let me just keep adding these curls in. I added about, at first I was adding about four pieces, four to five pieces in each braid, but then I upped it to five to seven pieces just so it could just be more full. the same concept is just adding the hair and continue to braid adding more curly hair and continue to braid so then you want to pin it up out the way and I just wanted to add one more piece before I ended the braid because this piece was a little bit too thick I just split it in half and I just still added the other piece in I've ended my braids a couple of different ways. I burned the ends, I dipped the ends, I have let the straight, when it's curly boho braids, I've left it to be straight. I wanted it to be nothing but curly hair at the end. So all I did was knotted the braiding hair. Once I knotted that, I'll cut the braiding hair and leave the curly hair out. I haven't had any curls fall out still. Maybe you just need a really knot it up. I've seen people use glue. I didn't want to use glue just because I just wanted to make it less work as possible. This style took about 13 hours, 13, 14 hours just to do. So I didn't want, if I had to take two seconds to dip some glue, no thank you, because two seconds add up. So you see here, it's that full curly look that I'm getting and that is exactly what I wanted. It's time for the top part and it's still the same exact concept. It's just the top. It's where people are gonna really, really be looking at it in your face and looking how your braids look. You know, in the back it don't matter. In the back, it means that you don't you don't even need to be looking, especially because the braids be overlapping and covering your line. So 
still the same concept. You see how I twist, ooh, twist, and then add a piece of hair, hook it in there. Add that and twist, and then add another piece of hair. I really want this to work for y'all, like I really do. Cause now you can't tell me nothing. I know how to add pieces of hair. Like you can't tell me anything. So for the front braids, I wanted to add about five to six pieces on each braid. When it comes to the end in the braid, I wanted just to add more curls, take it out, pin it up, add another curl, and it's really become repetitive. In the front, I wanted it to be thick, but not too thick because I'm gonna end up like cutting it a little bit. I just knotted the end with the braiding hair, cut it off, and just kept the curly pieces. So the curls are very tight, so I wanted to add some water and comb it out a little bit. But do you see these curls? I wanted to keep it long, so I just cut the front braids, just did a little snip snip angle cut. So for the ends, I just cut it more even, gave it a little V cut. I didn't want to have a straight blunt cut, so I was cutting upwards like this. And that is all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope to help. Comment down below if you have any questions. If you liked the video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked it enough, subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at Duyanakawana. Link will be down in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.